Hey guys and welcome to a Peacekeeper Task Guide Spartor Part 3. For this task you're going to need to find one fan in raid WD-40 100 milliliter, which is the short one, find two fan in raid clean window cleaners, find two fan in raid corrugated hoses, find two fan in raid ox bleachers and then hand them all over to Peacekeeper. Don't forget to leave a like on this video if you find this guide useful. So if you are having a bit of issues when it comes to getting all of these items, when it comes to the WD-40s and the corrugated hoses, they do actually spawn in the same places, which is toolboxes, technical supply crates, as well as duffel bags, as well as the hidden caches dotted around the world, as well as dead scavs. Now, when it comes to the clean wipers and the wonderful ox bleach, these do spawn in sports bags, as well as the hidden caches dotted around, as well as dead scavs. The caches and the dead scavs basically spawn anything in the game, but they can spawn directly in sports bags. So you can craft all of the items in your lavatory level two if you happen to have it. So soap, alkali and sodium, you do get five of the ox bleach. Vodka and shampoo, you do only get one of the clean wipers. Scrolling down a little bit more, you do get WD-40, the 400 mil and one of the metal cutting scissors do craft two of these small wd-40s and then the hoses right here is one silicon tube three wires as well as three insulating tapes you do get two of the wonderful corrugated hoses so starting off we are going to be heading out for the clean wipers and the ox bleach now as you can see in front of you there's two locations located on shoreline that i have highlighted which is the resort and the weather station we are up here at the resort and we're going to actually start off going into the east wing which is the right side west wing does also have some spawns but we're going to head into the east wing first we're going to head in through the main entrance and we're actually going to go to the back stairs through this little cupboard just like so and now we're here at the back stairs admins right there and this is the back entrance what we're going to do is head up these stairs until you're up to the very top floor now there's these shelving units right here as you can see we've got some ox bleach just there as well as inside this little cupboard right here is another great location for these spawns now what we're gonna do is head back out to the helicopter and we're gonna head into the west side so heading over to the west side the helicopter is literally just behind us right there we're gonna go through the main entrance just like so and then follow it around to the right there's this little cupboard area right here directly in front of us and same as the last location this is also a great spot to get yourself some clean wipers and ox bleach as well and now what we're gonna do is head down to the weather station which is down in that direction on the south side of the map and now we're down here at the second location which is the wonderful weather station so what we're going to do is enter through the main entrance and this is actually how i found my ox bleach and my clean wipers just head upstairs and then turn to your left and directly in front of you right here this shelving unit specifically is a really good location as well as it can actually spawn on the ground right here just a quick fyi graphics cards can spawn just here so just keep an eye out as well as you do have a safe here and a computer so don't miss out on those easy loots as well and now for the next location which is the little stubby 100 milliliter wd-40s as well as the hoses now we are over here in interchange as you can see and we are over by ollie now this is in my opinion the best place to get hoses as well as the 100 milliliter bottles as well as the tall ones so they do spawn basically on every single shelf inside of this area everything so even these ones over here to the right that is extremely common as i am recording there is nothing here but they are actually normally very common around this area where we're going to come do your scav runs there's some uh, tubes but that's not what we're looking for um again more tubes wonderful and just like so sometimes you do have to jump just to come and have a look at the top shelves just like so as well as all of these shelves and these ones back here every single shelf that you can see can actually spawn an item as you can see a e-motor as well as even with the stuff on the shelves like here items do spawn literally just in these open spots just like so as well as along the back of these shelvings again as you can see items are spawning the back area just over in this direction is another great location to get yourselves your um 
WD-40 as well as the hoses. And they can get stuff that spawns on the very top shelf. If you've got a friend, all he needs to do is just lie down here and then you can jump on his back. Again, shelves all around here and down here. And another great location, if we just follow it along the back wall, just in this direction, you come across these low level shelves just like so. And they can also spawn in all of these two, each of these shelves, each of the lines or each of the, 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 the actual shelving units. Each one of these can actually have a chance of spawning everything you need, as well as these freestanding ones all dotted around the edge, just like so. I mean, here we've got some keck tape, some awesome keck tape. And it seems for some reason it's just spawning tubes. I don't know why, but all of those can spawn the uh, hoses as well as the um, WD-40s. It looks like I'm just getting a little bit unlucky here. If you are struggling with this task or just in general wanting to find people to play with, head over to prana.tv slash discord. We do have a decently large looking for group community as well as a Sherpa system. So if you just need a bit more help than normal, then we are there to help you. Hopefully you guys found this guide useful. If you did, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe or possibly consider joining the channel membership where you can unlock early videos as well as a few custom rewards. Don't forget to check out Piranha.tv as well. That's a one-stop shop for all of your guides, tasks, keys, all those kind of things in one location. Hopefully you guys found this guide useful and I'll see you in the next video. And a big thank you to all of my Patreons supporting me over on patreon.com slash Piranha TV. And a huge thank you to Jay Dam, Freddy and Beansy. Without this kind of support, I wouldn't be able to do what I do.